Let's see how it goes. We need to talk him now. We need to talk to him. Let's talk to the child. Ryan. He totally will have the right advice. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good sores have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. Aww. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. <coughs> it doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Thank you. I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Perhaps we'll be around to give you a real sword when you're big, boy. Who is he? He's looking at me. You looking at me? No, we're not going out. Dum, 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 dum. Aha, aha, aha. Let's talk to uh, Sir Roland. Sword up! Swing left! Hurry! Wrong! I didn't know dogs were old swords. A word? Of course, my lord. Yeah, you want the job, huh? You're nice. Uh -huh. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot. Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters after today. I suspect there'll be more to come. You do that, Sir Roland. You're all worthless and weak. Make him. Let's talk to him. <clears throat> Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But well, where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Hmm. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Mm, but my thought. mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Alright, she will be for the other one, we're best. Uh, God, you have no idea how tiring this is to make those decisions. Mother told me 
Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. I knew it. She will for the other one. God damn it. Fantastic. Let's talk to him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Uh, who the f fuck would choose? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Hmm. Good, that's trouble. Where is sneaking? About. So where is Maestro? Let's move on here. Murph, Murph, you're still here? Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton? and have them leave us be. We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Mm. Oh, okay, what we learn in the freaking TV series, what, what are we supposed to do? We need to appear strong. Like, I mean, come on, the guy 
um, what is his name, the uh, father Stark, who died. He tried to be a nice guy, right? Tried to be good. I think this will be bite you in the ass. This is Game of Thrones after all. It's a freaking fucking massacre. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go with a wise choice. My lord, First. are you now ready to name your sentinel? No, I... Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Let's go with the good guy. The clever guy. <coughs> Sorry. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I, will, I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yeah! <laughs> Took out the whip, Sir bitch. Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Hmm. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. <sighs> And be Why not on make an beds? offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <sighs> no time on this one. So let's sit here for half an hour. Hmm, diplomacy with a bastard who is like slicing, dicing people in his free time. On the other hand, freaking, freaking him out. I don't think we have a chance to stand against him. I'm not paying them. Definitely not. That's not an option. I don't think that he will be able maybe to go all crazy on us. Um, and there is still hope that we actually, you know, the crown will help us, so... My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. 
I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Can't we prepare? Invite him course. into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And yeah. when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. This guy's intimidating. No, no, we're meeting him in the Great Hall. Nah, it's not a good idea to piss him off. He has complexes. In, you know, he's just a bastard, so... Treating him like this... Be bad. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. Yep. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. She said, by the way, another word. Apologies, Hello. my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet <coughs> Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you. Where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. <laughs> he grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <coughs> nice. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher yeah. does not hesitate. He acts. Okay, you convince me. We need me. that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Oh, again, decision. Uh, yeah, okay, I think you, you should go and bring Fine. Asher back. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. We can do it. Freaking decisions the whole time. God damn it. Sweating blood here.
Okay, boys, I need, I need a short toilet. I'm. Um